Welcome back to Mobius Lesson 11A, homework question number four, part two, the elimination method. My favorite. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is choose one of these variables to get rid of, the to eliminate. And since four and ten don't really work very well, no, I could. I could multiply this whole thing by ten and this whole thing by four so that they're both 40. But since I have 3 and 6 here with the y, I can multiply this by 2, and then they're the same, and I can eliminate it, thus saving me a little bit of some headache. So I'm going to take this equation here, I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to, actually, let's just, since it's the second one, I'm going to put parentheses around the whole thing, because we're going to multiply everything so that equal sign stays balanced by uh, in this case, I'm going to do by a negative 2 so that 1 is positive and or 1 is negative and this one will be positive so that I can add them and they'll cancel out right at the beginning. I'm also going to move this one over just a little bit as well so that those equal signs stay lined up. All right, negative 2. Now, because I'm multiplying this to everything, I need to do the distributive to every single term. So I end up with negative 2 times positive 10, which is negative 20x. Negative 2 times a negative 3 makes a positive 6y. And then negative 2 times a positive 16 gives me a negative 32. And I'm going to move this over again just so those line up. Now I have changed this equation. This one has not been changed. So I'm going to bring it down here and that's the one that I'm going to be uh, combining with to eliminate. There we go. And now I have positive 6y minus 6y and I'm just going to do this all again so that we can see we are combining these two just like you, you know, add up uh, numbers in a straight line, positive 6 minus 6 is gone, or 0. And then on the left or left hand side, get out of this, I have a negative 20x plus 4y, which equals a negative 16x. And then on the right hand side, I have negative 32 minus 32, which gives me a negative 64. And then I just need to solve for x here, which is divide both sides by a negative 16. And then divide the right hand side by negative 16 negative 16. So on the left hand side, negative 16 divided by negative 16 cancels out or is uh, divided becomes 1. 1 times x is x. So I'm just left with x. Negative 64 divided by negative 16 makes it a positive 4. All right, now so we have x here and we just need to find y. I'm going to come up and highlight that so I don't mix it or get it mi mixed up in all of the numbers. And so I'm just going to go back to one of the original equations, either one, it doesn't matter, this one or this one. I usually pick the one with the smallest numbers because it's easier, especially in your head. And like if you're on a test, then it just goes faster. So I'm just going to do this one because it looks good. <laughs> okay, and so where the x is, I'm going to put my set of parentheses so I don't forget everything goes inside of there. And since it's just a 4, we'll put a 4 in and work it out. 4 times 4 is 16 minus 6y equals negative 32. Now I need to uh, subtract the 16 from both sides so that I can get the 6y all by itself. And on the right hand side, minus 16. So 16 minus 16 cancels. That goes to 0. I'm going to I like crossing it out so that I see that visual it's gone. And then on the right hand side or left hand side I have left is negative 6y and negative 32 minus 16 gives me 48, negative 48. And then to continue solving for y I want to divide both sides by a negative 6, negative 6 which will cancel on the left side divide by negative 6 on the right side. So negative 6 divided by negative 6 is 1, or you can say they cancel, which gives you 1 times y is y, or canceling them out, you just have the y left. 
On the right hand side, negative 48 divided by a negative 6 gives you a positive number. 48 divided by 6 gives me 8. And I have my answer, or my ordered pair of 4, 8. I can write it as a, an ordered pair. 4, 8. And these two lines cross in one spot, so they are independent. There's one solution. and uh, the two lines cross at one point. We can come over here and put in our numbers of 4 and 8. And that's exactly what we got with this one as well. Just a little longer method. And we can go ahead, how did I do? And move on to the next one.